Hello, hello, and welcome to Yolanda's Daily Bread. How are you on this victorious day? It is a victorious day. Yes, it is a victorious day. You know why? Because you are above ground. You know why? Because the Lord saw fit to have you here this day, this moment, right now. Now, <clears throat> with that being said, what I want to say to you today is, look, Embrace the day, okay? Embrace the moment, embrace the life. And during this time, this should be a time of reflection and then moving forward. Moving forward in what it is that you were called to do. Like for real, move out in what it is that you want. What is it that you want to do? What is it that you truly want to do? Because right now, it's like... It's a purging going on. I don't know if you see that or if you're, if you're recognizing that, but there's a shift. And I've been saying this for a while that there's a shift that has taken place, but there, there has been a shift that has taken place. And that shift is not a bad shift. It's a shifting of going from one dimension to another dimension. A dimension of even better that now that you have outgrown the dimension that you were in before that you no longer can be fed on that level it's now time to live out in that place that God has called you into you know right now there are people that are going through but not you not you and don't you go and grab for yourself sickness and disease and and grab for yourself low level thinking and and all of that you know don't don't you line up with those people don't you line up with that fear don't you line up with that god has created you to do great things in the moment that you're in this earth and he wants you to get out of your own way he wants you to embrace this moment right now and he wants you to listen to him. Whatever that is that God is telling you to do, whatever God is talking to you about, don't be afraid. Stop making excuses. Don't make any more excuses. Just do what he has called you to do. He has already laid it out. Do you know that God was in your day before you got there? He, what does he do? What does God do? He begins at the end. So he has already finished the thing and then he puts you in it. Look at the, when he created the earth, he created the earth and then he brought, put man in it for man to till it, to keep it right. To reproduce, multiply, subdue. So that's what God has done for you, for your life, for every moment of your life. That's what God has done. He has created the environment. He has created that environment that is perfect for you. And now he says, come, come into this space. Come with me to the next dimension. Come with me into this environment. Come with me, come into the land that I have prepared for you. A land filled with milk and honey, a land filled with goodly things. Whoo, Jesus. Listen, don't take up for yourself what other people are taking up for themselves. I don't care how religious they sound. I don't care how they could be your mother, your father, your uncle, cousin, Joe, whoever. All right. Whoever that is that you deem so important in your life. Listen, let me tell you something. If they're not speaking what God is speaking in your life, don't you line up with them. You let them go down that rabbit hole by themselves, but don't you join them. God has greatness for you because he called you to be great. That's what he's saying to you. You don't know what he's saying to them. They are probably not even listening. They probably can't hear God because everybody that says, oh, I thank God. Oh, God is so good. They ain't heard from God. They don't know God. They know God on a contingent basis. They know God that if they ask for something and it turns out right, in their eyes, God is good, but not you. 
You know God that he is good all the time and that his will will always be done and that his will is always better and great for you. So what I want to say to you is you say yes and you move out on what it is that he has called you to do. He's talking to you. He is talking to you right now and he's saying, come on, come with me into that land that I prepared for you, a land that is is." full of goodness, full of milk and honey, is filled, things are huge, big, is all good in this space. Good according to him, not good according to man. Bye-bye.